Hi everybody, this is Nerdcore on Limit, and we're gonna talk about Batman live on stage. Batman Live was one of the first stage shows ever using stunt performance and special effects on stage, based on a superhero. In the beginning, the production tried to do a musical, but later find out it would not be a good musical, since the disappointment of Superman the theater. So the producers make sure the source material of Batman has to be accurate and excitement for the audience, since it's Batman. Also it makes the only show live outside from films, TV shows and cartoons. The story is about the brief beginning of Batman, but the main story is how Dick Grayson parents get murdered and how he become Robin and the creation of the dynamic duo and talk about the dynamic duo this is the only time appear live besides from the movies like Batman Forever Batman and Robin and of course the cartoons I would suggest the production company to take a note of the Batman live to see how it was great to see both of them perform accurate and precise on this show. Other famous characters besides Batman and Robin is the Batmobile. The car on the Batmobile. It's got a carbon structure, hydrogen generator, water exhaust. Look at those wheels! They're not actually wheels. Gravity and lift the car off the ground as it drives. What's that? That's the afterburner. It accelerates the battle to hyperspeed in seconds. What's it sound? Sonar. So the car can travel in the dark undetected. Like a bat. And in case of emergencies, watch this. It was created specifically for the show and the design it was from Jen Lee and it's one of the highlights of the show and not only that Hot Wheels or Mattel put in Hot Wheels. The score is one of the highlights of Batman Live. The composer James Brett created one of the most amazing scores just like the movies like Danny Elfman for Batman motion pictures. Batman Live has also a role gallery that includes Joker, Riddler, Scarecrow, Poison Ivy, Two-Face, Harley Quinn, and the love interest of Batman, the Catwoman. Since it's based on the source material, Batman in this show actually fly and fight and use the Batmobile with the Robin together. Sadly, the show get canceled here in the United States and they only perform two shows in Anaheim in the Honda Center. The reason of the cancellation, it actually cost one million dollars here in the United States per show. The interested part the interested part of Batman, it was actually appear in England in summer of 2011 first, and they used in venues like England, Scotland, North Ireland, and the Republic of Ireland. And it was planned to go in here in United States in summer of 2012, and cease through December 12th. But appear not in the summer and either ended on December. He only appeared in September of 2012. One of the rumors about why, what is the reason it was canceled, Batman Live, is because it has really bad advertisement. And not only that, 
DC Comics never actually help it to promote the uh, Batman life. DC Comics never promote Batman life accordingly and especially. And not only that, Warner Brothers make a deal with the company who make the Batman life. It will not be a monetary support in any way. And the only way they make their money is for selling the tickets. Since arriving in the United States and cost one million, the second show it looks like they only make probably 45%. And the sales ahead for the performance during the weekend and the months until December, it will not fulfill the expectations, making difficult decisions for the production to cancel Batman Live and only has two shows. If Warner Brothers decide to help Batman Live or DC Comics keep some money and promote better, it will perform in different countries, at least 28 across the Europe and South America, and that include also six languages. That include English, German, French, Czech, Portuguese and Spanish, and it will see in different parts across the Atlantic and, of course, Canada. But it's too sad the show only lasts two. And they never tried to do ever again Batman Life. I wish they can do it, or Warner Brothers decide to bring it, but it's difficult in this time. And once again, this is Nerdcore Unlimited, and we'll see you again. Let's go home.